Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. Um, today I actually kind of want to bring up a topic that may seem a little bit random, but kind of on the side of psychology at the same time, as the title presents, Dreamscapes. Uh, for those who don't know what I'm referring to, I'm referring to the kind of other world, more or less, that you're experiencing when you're going through a dream. Um, <clears throat> what brought on the idea for this topic was actually a dream I recently had. I'm not going to go into detail about it, but the concept, what happened for me is just that I started thinking about the dream itself and how normally for me, um, if it's an event that doesn't end up happening uh, or it's too abstract to even happen in reality, I have a tendency to remember those dreams. But the ones that have a tendency to be events that are going to occur, I'll like forget about the dream until the event happens. Then I'll wonder, wait a minute. Have I experienced this before? No, but no, but yes. Now, I, what kind of what? <laughs> anyway, um, it got me after thinking about that. It kind of got me thinking on like the idea of dreamscapes or the world within dreams in general. Um, <clears throat> now, bear in mind, as I'm talking about this, I am no dream therapist. I, the only knowledge I have about dreams, I've researched myself out of curiosity at random points in times in my life. Um, like, for example, the symbolism of some dreams. Um, I'm not going to get into detail about that because that's a different topic for a different day. But ever since I started looking at that kind of stuff, I've always been very... not really on edge, but in the mind of, hmm, I wonder what this could mean kind of thing. <clears throat> if it means anything. I guess a good example of this would be a dream I had when I was a kid. Of course... I didn't have this mindset at the time, but if I did, I would think, what the heck was that supposed to be, like, referring to in my real life or something? Realistically, nothing. It was just something abstract that happened. But I digress. The dream I'm referring to, I was living um, with my parents still, because, again, I was, like, 12 years old, maybe not even. Actually, I don't even think even that old. I think I was younger than that. Um, but either way... I remember having this dream where a bull starts chasing me. I'm, like, running around my really eh, mediocre-sized, dirt-filled backyard. And eventually, I started running up the wall. And, I mean, in the dream, it felt extremely realistic for some weird reason. Maybe it's because, I don't know, I had recently read a book or seen a movie where that kind of thing seemed to, like, pull to Doctor Strange or something. I don't know. Now, bear in mind, this is an example. At the point in time, Doctor Strange wasn't out yet. I was still... <laughs> it was years for ha ha heaven's sake. Not even the first Iron Man film that kick-started the Avengers series. Not even that was out yet. Um, but I digress. I guess it was just one of those things that kind of because of how active my mind was, it showed up. Um... But I guess if I, my mind were to be in that mindset of why would this occur, what would the symbolism behind that even be? I don't know. I never bothered to think of looking this up before, but it, it, would it actually have happened in reality? No. But that's probably why I could remember it. I vividly remember dreams that make either absolutely no sense or that just wouldn't happen in reality. Shut up, phone. Um... I don't know. I find it very... I find that dreamscape very interesting. Yes, I'm going to keep referring to it as a dreamscape because it's a definitive title for the other... for a dream world that I've heard before on several occasions. Not just from, like, one source, but several sources. <coughs> so, yeah, if I talk about the dreamscape, that's what I'm referring to. Um, in case this four-minute already long video doesn't give that away. What I find interesting about the dreamscape for me specifically is that whenever it's something that is bound to happen in reality, I will forget it until the event happens. The strange thing is, though, when I come across those points in time, I'll feel like I had experienced it before, and I'll sit there wondering when and where, but it would never really officially cross my mind that I had dreamt it, dreamed of it. Technically, both terms work. I don't know. Um, but 
I do find it very intriguing, and I, I don't talk about the idea of dreams becoming reality or dreams just being symbolic or anything like that. I don't think I've ever talked about that before on this channel. If I have, it's like been once or twice. It's just, I don't know. The idea, I guess for me, the idea of dreams like meaning anything to reality just seems kind of like a low bar nowadays because it used to be kind of a some kind of well-believed thing that if you dreamt this one thing physically in your dreams, oh, it must be happening IRL at some point. No! People who used to believe that, I would shake my head miserably thinking, how dumb are you? Because nowadays, I mean, anybody who knows anything about, like I said, the dreamscape, they, anyone who knows any details about the psychology behind stuff like that at all knows that just because it's being dreamt about it doesn't mean it's real. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. Or That's why, for me, I'm glad that the ones I do remember are ones that don't end up happening. Or didn't end up happening. Or just too abstract to happen in the first place. And the ones that I forget... It's, I, th I think it, it, well, we've gone down that line enough. I think for me, it's just the sick case that I'm very open-minded. I like talking about a lot of things. There are some things I don't discuss, but usually they're things that I know will impact people like that in a way that it's not supposed to. There's a reason I re I never talk about, outside of what I gave an example earlier in this video, maybe I've done it in the past, but outside of that, I have never given any examples or talked about any kind of dream I've ever had before. For that purpose, I know none of them are going to happen, the ones that I can talk about, because, again, I already said it a billion times, I'm not going to say it again. But just bringing it up at all, people will go, oh, that's weird, oh, that's gross, oh, this, oh, that. It's like, no, because it's not realistic. It's not actually going to happen. I don't actually have that kind of mind to do or see or act upon, you know, whatever's going on in the dream. And I have had dreams before where that response would be given, and it's dumb that people would think that. But I guess it's just in human nature for people to do that. That's why I don't talk about it unless it's too abstract to actually happen. I don't know. The dreamscape is an odd place. I feel like it's one of those things. It's in your mind, not your heart kind of thing. But a lot of people think it the reverse, where it's in your heart, not your mind. I'm like, sure, yeah, that makes sense because I am going... I. I have this love to get stung by a ginormous bee at some point in time. That's another example of a dream that I've actually had in the past when I was like, I think I was somewhere between six and eight years old when I had it. Uh, because I remember it was, uh, I was living with my parents in a rental, I believe, and I was asleep. It, it, during the dream, it felt realistic, but it was like this bee that was 20 times my size that stung me, and I woke up during the sting. I mean, to me, a bee is like that big. At best, this big. So obviously that dream wasn't actually going to happen. And it never did either. I mean, come on. Even at like a generic bee, didn't, it's not like a. have had a bee just circling my head ready to just pin me. <laughs> it, it seems kind of stupid. But again, this is why I'm like, I don't talk about this. It's just like, if I did talk about this kind of thing in a more serious dreams too, people would take it way too seriously just because they think dreams are way, they're symbolic or they're going to happen. No, I mean, they're symbolic, but they're not going to happen. And if they do, it's usually something you forget after waking up. Now, there's a rare exception. There are some people out there who actually do remember it and will act on those circumstances, but the difference between those people and people like me is they don't talk about it at all. They keep it to themselves. I'm not the kind of person to do that. Sometimes I can be a bit more open than necessary about things, which is why, you know, I don't... This is like the one topic I really talk about, and that's why. I don't know. It's potato potato, I guess. I. But I guess this is kind of my take on... Uh, the idea of the dreamscape, once again, I'm just calling it that because a lot of different sources call it that. Uh, the idea of, like, the world of the dream. The world of dreams. 
I don't know. Um, I can talk th further into this kind of topic if you guys like. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want uh, more of my take, uh, more of kind of a professional researching kind of uh, approach on this kind of thing. If so, I'll be happily, I'll happily be willing to do the research on it, and I'll be happy to actually discuss this kind of thing and my thoughts on it in the future. But let me know in the comments below if you guys want to hear more about like the idea and or world of dreams. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave this this uh, discussion rant at this point video here. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, there are... <laughs> I can't even give a number anymore how many uh, discussion rant videos. I'd have to look it up at this point. Click like on the side of my head if you want to see the plenty of them. Some of them are outdated. Most of them are more personal opinion type things and psychology and stuff like that. In that case, they're not so much outdated. But if this isn't quite your cup of tea, maybe you'll be able to find stuff that you may enjoy on the channel a little bit more if you click the link on the opposing side of my head. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in the video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Catch you guys later.